Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jamise McPherson and thank you for coming back to another video. Today's video, girl, we're going to be using some new products, okay? Products that I've never used before. And you guys know I'm a creature of habit. I mainly use the same products here on my channel, but it's a new year. I'm trying to switch things up. So without further ado, let's get into some new goodies. We're in front of some natural light today. I am feeling this vibe, like without the ring light, like, okay, come through light. So, <clears throat> I right into the video. I'm only gonna be showing you guys the products that are new. Um, so, if you hear me mention a product but not show it, that's the reason why. As you can see, under eye patches, yep. Mm hmm. And I got my iced coffee. So, I'm a happy woman right now. All right. So, for the eyeshadow look, you guys already know I like to prime my eyes with Juvia's Place Prep and Prime. Today, I am going to mix one and two together just because I really want the pigment to show um, on my eyelids. So, I'm going to add just a little bit of the one shade with that. So just apply my primer. So typically you guys know I would go in with a cream um, foundation and do my nose contour. I'm not gonna do that today. Who is she? I know. I'm gonna go straight in with my eyeshadow. I am gonna be using this Morphe 35U Glided Desert Palette. And I'm just gonna go back and forth between a couple different shades. I'm gonna take this shade called Dawn to Dust. And I am going to place it all in my crease. Like, look at that pigment. And then I'm gonna also bring that shade up into my eyebrow. And I'm just going to take my time and really build this shade and the pigment and like the color up. Now I'm going to pick up this shade called Molten. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. And I'm going to place that right on top of like my eye fold. And then kind of also bringing that shade up into my eyebrow. As you can see, this is not blended out. You can kind of see where my eyeshadow starts and ends and you just don't want like that look. So you always want to take like a lighter shade and a smoke that will blend that shade out and, and picked up that shade called Dune Buggy, which is like an orange shade. And I'm just going to blend out that eyeshadow and like right off the bat you can just see how better it looks there's no harsh lines it's just blended to perfection now I do think I want to go back in with that molting shade and the dawn to dusk and just put some more of that shade in my crease Oh my God, I just remembered, before we continue on with the eyes, I'm gonna be using this Beauty Creations Plump and Pout Lip Boost, Lip Plumping Booster. What it looks like, it looks like a little like, you know, needle syringe for, you know, if you got like lip, ooh, if you got like lip filler. This is what it looks like, super cute. The only thing I do not like about this, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it is hard to get like the pump to work. Like it's cute, but when it comes to like pumping out the product, it doesn't always come out like, obviously today it wants to work, but 
there is days where it's just just doesn't work for me I'm about to start to do my makeup I always like to put on some type of like plumping gloss or just some type of lip gloss just so that my lips are moisturized for our lip combo for my eyes I'm gonna take this NYX glitter primer I have not used this in years and I totally forgot how good this product is I'm going to just apply some on the back of my hand and place this glitter glue on my lid And it is kind of hard putting like this on simply because I have nails. Mm. Now the star of the eyes is this NYX brightening eyeshadow. So I really, I really like this shade, right? Let me show you guys what it looks like on the back of my hand. So this is what the shade looks like hopefully it's picking up but I don't know I don't know if I have been I don't know how to use this and when I say that I don't know if I should apply this first and then go with eyeshadow or just apply this by itself I'm not sure this is also in the shade pear prize um brightening I don't know Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, just gonna take some and I'm gonna apply it right on top of that NYX um, glitter glue. So the same way I would apply um, shadow, I'm just doing that with this. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna use this as like a base for like an actual shimmer shadow. Because as you can see, mm, I can't really see like the color. I mean, it's picking up just a little bit, but I don't know, I was expecting it to be like more pigmented. If I've used this product, let me know how you like to apply it because clearly I don't know how to apply it. Now for my eyes, I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe palette. I'm gonna pick up like this shimmery shade, which is called Tierra Firma. Tara for my girl is something. But I'm gonna show you what the shade looks like on the back of my hand. So hopefully that's picking up. That shade and just place it on top of that liquid eyeshadow. Okay, she's cute. y'all know how I feel about glitter child I I am like so nervous when it comes to like glitter and like step out of my comfort zone but it's okay now <clears throat> anytime I'm doing my eyeshadow I like for everything to just like make sense clearly this is not making sense because you can kind of see where everything starts and stops as far as like the glitter so the same shades that I used for my crease, I'm gonna take those, those shades and blend out my crease a little bit. And first smudge out the ends, well the corners, and then take it up in my crease. This is cute, y'all. She's cute. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. As you can see, eyes are done. Our eyes look really good. Like, I'm really proud of myself. I really did that. Like, I feel like all the colors just like flow together. Dang, let me find out. Let me find out. So, <clears throat> I am gonna go in with a little bit, like the smallest amount of black liquid liner. I'm going with a small amount of liquid liner. I'm using this Milani Stay Put Black Liner, y'all. They sent me over a little package and babes, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've already tested out this liquid liner. This just might be the best liquid liner I have ever tried in my life, like no cap. Did I just say no cap? That's crazy. I already know I gotta get super close when I do my liquid eyeliner. 
And when I say the smallest amount, like I'm not gonna do like this full on wing, like literally a small amount of liquid liner. And then, you know, I say a small amount and then it gets thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. And I'm only doing a small amount because I really want the glitter to show. And you guys know me, I'm going to end up like smoking it out with like some brown eyeshadow. Like literally that's it. Like that's the smallest amount of liquid liner I've ever applied in my life. off the eye look I am gonna add some brown eyeshadow just a little bit on top of that black liquid liner just to like kind of you know smoke it out a little bit oh that looks so freaking pretty for mascara I'm going in with this anti-gravity intense black mascara from Milani I'm using intense black is because I need for my eyelashes to blend in with my falsies, okay? Oh my god, y'all. Like, I don't really have much of a lash, but babes, Milani might have did something with this one. I'm gonna moisturize my face with some Pond's moisturizer. Cause no matter how oily my skin is, I still like for my face to feel moisturized under like all the, you know, makeup. Normally I would add sunscreen, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I can't even find the sunscreen. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. As you guys can see, a girl has some dark spots that she's trying to cover up. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, my skin is not even bad. Like it's really not bad. It's just like my, my dark spots that I'm trying to get rid of and babes, once I get rid of them, I don't wanna hear nothing, okay? You can't tell me nothing. But for the time being, I am gonna color correct my dark spots. But in the meantime, I am gonna color correct. I'm gonna use this NYX Color Correcting, y'all. Oh my god, I've heard a lot of great things about this, so I'm super excited to try it out today. I'm using the shade 15, which is called Coco. So, I was in store, I couldn't find like a perfect match, but this one was like close, so I just picked it up. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for like the summertime when you don't wanna put on foundation at all, but you still wanna kinda of look put together. I would just take this and just like, you know, put it on the areas where my dark spots are and under my eye. I never put like color corrector under my eye, but I am gonna do that today, so. I'm just gonna put it under my eye. Like so, like who is she? Now, as you can see, like I said, it's not really my complexion but a girl it's okay i'm literally just going to like press it in to my face oh it's definitely giving like skin for sure. You guys know how I am with my foundations and child. 
I think I found a really good stick foundation, okay? I'm gonna be using the Thread Face It Foundation. I'm using the shade 130, which is called Medium Warm Golden. Um, I've heard great things about this brand. I've just, I haven't used it, I don't know why. Um, so I'm just going to, hopefully that's a perfect match. I'm gonna put three like strikes on like these sides of my face and then let's do two on the chin around the mouth and then like the nose area impressions this stuff is really freaking buttery and i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's given full coverage and i haven't even blended it out yet to blend out my foundation i'm gonna use this milani f220 brush it looks like this i have been obsessed with using this brush to blend out my foundation it's just gives me like this flawless finish and I'm just going to press that foundation in oh my god oh my god you guys this foundation is a perfect match and it feels super lightweight like Oh no, I think I, I think I found my new favorite foundation, y'all. Oh my God. For concealer, I'm gonna use that same brand, which is Threads. I have the shade 05, which is tan golden, and 06, which is tan deep. I'm not too sure. I think I'm gonna go in with the tan deep first. And then to like highlight, I'm gonna go in with the tan golden. First impressions already is it seems a bit watery. I don't know, I feel like watery concealers, you have to like let them sit before blending it out. And I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Let's see what the coverage is giving. I'm gonna go in with tan golden and place that right in the corners. Love a good full coverage concealer and I'm hoping she's given coverage, I hope so. To contour my face and my nose, I'm gonna go in with this Milani contour. I've also heard really great things about this, so I hope she doesn't let me down. But honestly, all the Milani products I've used have been good, so I'm just gonna take some and I'm going to start like my nose contour. You guys already know I like to bring it up in my eyebrow and down. I'm not gonna take this all the way down, but just like a little bit. And just by looking at it, I already love the color because I don't like a too dark of a contour, but also don't like a too light of a contour. I don't like when it looks muddy, and just by looking at it before even blending out, I think it's gonna be a really good shade match. And then I'm gonna take that product and going to contour my face. Now, I don't know, now I'm feeling like it might be a little too light, but We'll see. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it I think it should be fine. But yeah. I feel like our concealer has been sitting long enough. Now let's just go ahead and blend her out. So, so far, I am loving the color shades that I chose. I am gonna go in though with my beauty sponge really quick and just blend out my nose. And then we're gonna blend out that Milani contour. 
Ooh, I like this shade a lot. Yeah. She's cute. She's cute, girl. Yeah. Okay. Concealer on the sides of my nose. Now we're going to blend out our contour. And um, don't judge me, it broke. I need to buy a new one. Now I've always had like such a hard time when it comes to like blending out my like contour on my face, cream contour. Cause I just never know like what way to like blend. So I kind of just, I don't know. I kind of just blend it like in an upwards direction if that makes sense. And then if something just looks off to me, I just go in with like my beauty sponge. And you know, just touch it up, clean it up, press it in girl. It's just makeup, you know? To set all my concealer in place, I'm gonna go with my Huda Beauty setting powder. Know what y'all are thinking like, girl, don't you already use that? I do, but I use Blondie. This is banana bread, so zip it. Don't wanna hear it. And then take in my little pink powder puff. And we're just going to bake our face. This is stopping me. And of course, eventually, I knew we were gonna get our, gonna get our house, but it's on a totally different trajectory. I, I just had all these thoughts in my mind. My face and my nose contour, I'm gonna take this Morphe bronzer that's currently discontinued. So sorry, you guys. Um. Y'all know how I feel about my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but babes, we're not buying that right now. <laughs> I feel like this look is gonna eat, y'all. I feel it, I feel it in my system, I feel it in my soul, I feel it in my body, my spirit. It's about to eat. looking like a powdered donut. Now I'm just gonna wipe away that powder. You guys know I would go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth, but I'm not gonna use it today, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna just, you know, wipe away this powder. I'm going with just a little bit of my Sephora Micro Smooth powder, y'all. Just kinda help myself, cause I just love the powder so much. And I'm just doing like a light sweep. A little ASMR moment. <laughs> For blush, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Blush Duo in the shade Volume One. I absolutely love this blush at the moment. It's my favorite. I'm gonna go in with like the orange and you know, just back and forth with those two shades. Not too much though, cause I already feel like the eyes are doing a lot for me. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush. To make up look without, you know, a little bit of nose highlight. So I'm gonna go on my Artist Couture. The only like nose highlight I like to use. I'm gonna be using some new lashes today, you guys, that I've never used before. Y'all know I am a creature of habit. I literally have to use like the same thing because I'm like, if it don't broke, don't fix it. But I'm all about trying new things this year. I'm gonna use these Kiss Lashes, the Muse collection. They're super cute, super wispy, so let's try them out. Um, okay, she's cute. It's definitely giving like flun, fun, flirty. Okay. Also, I didn't tell you guys the style, but they're in the style Legacy. Super lightweight. Um, it doesn't even feel like I have a lash on my eye and they just look like super natural and super flattering. I'm using the NYX Line Loud Lip Liner in the shade Rebel Kind. I'm gonna be taking my NYX Duck Plump in the shade Apra 
cards. More like peach, you know? Last but not least, to finish off our makeup look, set our face in place. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Marshmallow Setting Spray. Ooh, this smells good. It does have a little scent to it, so you know, if you're not a scent girl, don't get it, but um, I'm just hoping that it just mattifies my face right on up. The final makeup look. I look so pretty, like I'm obsessed. I love my eyeshadow, like, my eyeshadow looks so freaking good. I'm so proud of myself. I'm mainly proud of myself for trying new products. I'm really proud of myself for that. So yeah, if you guys um, plan to try any of these products or have tried them, let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked down below in my description box. And of course, all the products I've used today will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not sure if I already said that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.